By any measure, the past quarter seems to suggest that market turbulence and surprises may well be the new normal. I'm Mark Kinney, Chief Investment Officer at Newport Private Wealth, with your first quarter investment update. The year started with worry that the Fed would continue to hike interest rates to combat inflation and the labor market would tighten further. Then the U.S. experienced several bank failures, the largest since the financial crisis of 2008. That put a pause button on the battle to tame inflation. The abrupt shifts in market expectations resulted in a significant rotation to tech stocks. Bond swings persisted and rates fell across the curve, reversing the hikes in February. Disruption in the credit market seemed poised to worsen, with assets being sold by failing banks. It was another quarter for the record books. Amidst this unpredictability, how did Newport do? The bond rally in March led to underperformance against our benchmarks. Still, all five of Newport's mandates posted positive returns for the quarter, ranging from 2.02% to 2.9%. The results reflect our belief that investing with a long-term view is the best way to safeguard your wealth in challenging environments. This can be seen in the Newport Balance Fund, which outperformed its benchmark for the past three years by 5% with 34% less volatility. Our asset mix and diversified holdings are designed to minimize risk and protect capital. They reflect our strategy, allowing us to participate in both upward trending markets and protect in times of downturn. Here's where we focused activity in the quarter. We made strategic allocations to both the bond and equity markets. We continued to assess opportunities with new and existing partners. And we spent time with our specialty managers, reviewing their strategies and getting their take on the year ahead. Let's start with bonds. A year of interest rate hikes has made the bond market more attractive than it has been in quite some time. After a period of extremely low interest rates, we are now seeing much better value. As a result, we made an allocation of $15 million to one of our specialty managers. We remain underweight bonds, but will watch this asset class for more opportunities. With uninvested cash in our mandates currently earning 4.7%, we can afford to be patient. To balance bonds, we invest in alternative investments such as private debt, mortgages, and private real estate. These investments are income producers and insulate against unforeseen market conditions. On the private investment side, Newport was busy with capital calls on previously made investments. Our institutional private investments now account for 36% in our balance mandate, with small increases to infrastructure and private debt being made in the quarter. Private debt is an area we're keeping an eye on especially given the headwinds of rising interest rates and U.S. regional bank failures. Companies that earn just enough money to continue operating and service debt are going to have to refinance their debt at higher rates. Assets are being sold by failing banks to improve their balance sheets, and there will also be credit contraction and more stringent regulations. All of this will create disruption in the credit markets, and that leads to opportunities. Our specialty managers can take more market share from the banks, and we are ready and positioned to take advantage of this. We're sometimes asked by clients about the private funds that they are now seeing from the banks and mutual fund companies, and how these compare to Newport's private investments. Alternative investments may be the latest buzzword, but these are asset classes in which Newport has more than 20 years of experience and success. Alternatives are a cornerstone to our strategy and a key differentiator for us. More importantly, our alternative portfolios are highly diversified and well-seasoned compared to firms beginning from scratch. With more than $5 billion in assets under management, Newport has the luxury of choice when it comes to assessing opportunities. The ability to make multi-million dollar allocations is a barrier to entry for most investors seeking a foothold in the institutional alternative investment universe. Newport faces no such barrier. This is also where independence matters. We can go anywhere and invest with any firm that meets our elevated standards for partnership. 
Our process eliminates the conflicts of interest of other firms that are hampered by or restricted by the in-house capabilities of their organizations. Turning to equities, the consensus view seemed to be that markets would have a rough start in 2023 with an early sell-off followed by recession. Yet the S&P 500 still rose 7.5% in the quarter, driven by the largest 20 stocks by market capitalization. In our view, a market this narrow, without broad representation, is not a healthy market. We'll watch for pullbacks to add to our portfolios, as will our specialty managers. They pay for quality, sound operating fundamentals with differentiated products that are not overvalued. We take an opportunistic and consistent approach to allocating capital to equity markets that will serve us well. To that end, we made investments with our emerging market and global mid-cap equity managers in the quarter. We're at the low end of our equity weightings as seen in the balance mandate, which is at the 38 to 40% range. We remain patient and have plenty of dry powder to take advantage of market dislocations. As Warren Buffett once put it, Cash, combined with courage in a time of crisis, is priceless. Recall that Newport has a significant amount of assets under management, allowing us to diversify and hold cash simultaneously. For an individual investor, sticking to a carefully constructed investment policy is far more effective over the long term than holding cash and trying to time the market and getting it wrong. Several weeks ago, we sent you a note with our thoughts on the banking collapse in the U.S. Then, as now, we have great confidence in the Canadian financial system. It operates very differently than that of the U.S. Canada's banks are subject to stringent regulations around capital and liquidity requirements. While there is no doubt that this situation is still working its way through the broader economic system, we see little risk of any spillover effect into our banking system. Rest assured, your assets are safeguarded with National Bank and its independent custodian, the National Bank Independent Network. Both have rigorous, regulator supervision and oversight, with robust protocols in place for your protection. I can't end this commentary without a word on the topics that remain on everyone's mind. Inflation, interest rates, and recession. It's been illuminating to discuss these issues with our specialty managers and get their perspective. They are all well versed in the broad key indicators that can signal a recession and bring their sector expertise to bear on their outlooks. What we've heard is that there's a divergence of opinion on the topic of recession. A few of our managers remain bullish and believe that their sector is trading as though we are already in a recession, while others believe that a recession is inevitable. Regardless of where they fall on the spectrum, our managers share a conviction that sticking to a well-formulated strategy is more important than ever in times of duress. What we do know is that interest rates and inflation are directly linked. They will also continue to drive the economic and market outlook for 2023. Higher prices and interest rates have yet to have a material impact on corporate earnings. A reversal in this trend would be a negative signal for the economy. We are watching first quarter corporate earnings very closely. Any one indicator in isolation can tell a story about what lies ahead. But our years of experience caution us to not rely too heavily on those that paint the rosiest picture. It is neither realistic nor actionable. Newport Seasoned Investment Committee continues to act prudently, gathering insights from our specialty managers, following the leading indicators, and adhering to our strategy. We work very hard to ensure that the investments we make are of the highest quality. This means low leverage, sustainable cash flows, strong balance sheets, exceptional people, and investor-friendly structures. Our investment committee is actively engaged in due diligence on opportunities across a variety of asset classes. It seems likely that the difficult times are not over yet in capital markets, but owning quality investments have always stood the test of time and turbulence. In this economic environment, we have the agility and the ability to adapt. 
We are confident our strategy will continue to be both a buffer and an advantage in whatever lies ahead. From all of us at Newport, thank you for your continued trust and confidence in us. It is a responsibility we uphold with honor. We hope you and your family enjoy the warmer months ahead.